Hello. Our topic for this lesson is, plane, figures, and their properties. You need just 5 minutes, to complete this lesson. Let us see our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Identify, plane figures, such as, polygons. 2. Recognize, symmetric properties, of some plane figures. 3. State the properties, of some plane polygons. Now, let us begin. Plane, figures. Plane figures, are figures or shapes, drawn on a plane. And a plane, is simply, a flat, or level surface. For example, these shapes on the board, a square, and a pentagon, are examples, of plane figures. Now, there are two types of plane figures, namely, open plane figures, and closed plane figures. A semicircle, and a less than sign, are examples, of open plane figures. While, a circle, and a triangle, are examples, of closed plane figures. Now, let us see other examples of closed plane figures, such as, polygons. A polygon, is simply, any closed two-dimensional plane shape formed, by joining three, or more line segments, together. Triangles, such as, right-angled, isosceles, equilateral, and scalene, are all examples of three-sided polygons. Polygons, with four sides, are known by a special name called, quadrilaterals. They include, the square, rectangle, kite, parallelogram, rhombus, and trapezium. Not that, polygons with equal sides, and equal angles, are called, regular polygons. Examples include, a square, an equilateral triangle, etc. Now, let us see other types of polygons, with different number of sides. Other polygons. A polygon with five sides, is called, a pentagon. A polygon with six sides, is called, a hexagon. A polygon with seven sides, is called, a heptagon. A polygon with eight sides, is called, an octagon. A polygon with nine sides, is called, a nonagon. And, a polygon with ten sides, is called, a decagon. That's beautiful. Now, let us look at symmetric properties, of some plane, polygons. When we fold a figure, drawn on a paper, one half of the figure, fits over the other, separated by a line called, line of symmetry. Therefore, a line of symmetry, is a line, that divides a shape, into two equal parts. Different shapes, have different number of symmetric lines, or none, at all. For example, a parallelogram, have no lines of symmetry. An isosceles triangle, have a single line of symmetry. A rectangle, have two lines of symmetry. An equilateral triangle, has three lines of symmetry. A square, has four lines of symmetry. A hexagon, has six lines of symmetry. And, a circle, has an unending lines of symmetry. Note that, while a line of symmetry, divides the shape into two equal parts. A diagonal line, connects one corner of a shape, to the other. A diagonal line, can sometimes, act as a symmetric line. Let us now see, some other properties, of plane figures. Before we continue, let's take note of the following words. 1. Parallel sides. 
this simply means sides, facing the same direction, without meeting each other. 2. Diagonal line. This simply means, a line, that joins two opposite corners, of a polygon. Now, let us see properties, of some plane shapes. For a rectangle, opposite sides are equal and parallel. All angles, or right angles, and diagonal lines bisect each other. For a square, opposite sides are equal, and parallel. All sides are equal, and all angles or right angles. For a rhombus, all sides are equal, and diagonal lines, divide each other, at right angles. For a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal, and parallel. Opposite angles, are also equal, and each diagonal line, bisects the shape, into two congruent triangles. And, for a kite, two pair of adjacent sides, are equal, and the shorter diagonal, divides the kite, into two unequal isosceles triangles. Note that, congruent sides, simply means, equal sides. That's very good. Now, pause this video, write down these assignments, and solve them in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. How to identify, plane figures, such as polygons. 2. The symmetric lines, of some plane figures. And 3. The properties, of some plane, polygons. I believe, you enjoyed this lesson. I look forward to seeing you, in the next one. Thanks, and goodbye.